Hi, so in the previous lecture we've collected all the information we have in our tumbles. So now we have all the details about this item, we have the details about the owner, we have the feedback, the contact, we have all the functions on the site, login, register, free password, receive password, and so on. We have post add, we have filter, we have search. And we need to start by creating our junk project. So I'm gonna open the terminal and I'm gonna close this actually. I'm gonna open another terminal. So first of all, I'm gonna go to this dev tutorials folder. So let's open this folder here. Okay. And here I'm gonna move to the desktop. So then dev underscore tutorials. And we have those three folders we need to create a virtual environment so i'm going to say virtual m and dash b for python 3b and 6 just to to choose the python version we need in this virtual environment and i'm gonna call this virtual environment with name of oldx clone yeah like this so let's hit enter so this will start by creating a virtual environment using python 3b and 6 and this virtual environment with name of all x clone like this so let's go to this all x clone like this and let's create a new folder mkdir or first let's yeah let's create new folder mkdir src so now we have a new folder and we need to activate this virtual environment so i'm going to say source bin slash activate so now i've just activated my virtual environment if you're using windows there is might be a simple change in this in this command in, in the CMD, but it's almost the same. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. So if you're using Windows, you can see the difference in this line. But if you're using Linux, it's almost the same commands. Okay, so now we've just activated our virtual environment. We need to install Django. So we're gonna say pip install the Django to install the latest version of Django. So let's wait until we install this Django. So now we've just installed Django to and 2 PYTZ and circle parse. Okay. So if we had pip freeze, we can see that we have three libraries. So now we need to create a Django project. So here I'm gonna see, let's open this SRC. Yeah. I'm gonna see Django admin start project and I'm gonna call this project with name of OLX so let's hit enter but now sorry we should have go and set this yeah we made a mistake so let's move the trash and let's first go into this src folder and let's execute this command django admin start project OLX so now we're gonna see that we have inside the src folder we have an olx folder. I don't need this. I need when I open this src folder, I so I see those two files. So I'm gonna delete this, move to trash, and I'm gonna execute the previous command. But at the end of this command, I'm gonna add the dot, which extends for the current directory. So when I press enter, now I have this managed by and the olx folder. In this OLX folder, as we can see, we have the things, the main settings for our project, we have the URL. The main URL for our project, we have the WSGI, there is no need for this file right now. So, let's start by running our server. So, I'm gonna say, by some manage the BY run server, yeah, just like this. And now we have a new file db.sepolite3 this is our database and we have a warning message on our terminal as you can see you have an applied migrations and we need we should apply those migration and if we want to apply those migrations we must run by some managed by migrate so don't worry we will apply those migrations but first let's open chrome here and let's open a new tab and i'm gonna open the local host 127.0.0.1 and the port number 8000 like this and so now we have the Django 
view release notes for Django 2 BM2. We have them installed work successfully. Congratulations. And we are seeing this because the debug equal true in the settings. Don't worry, we're gonna take a look at this. We have the Django documentation. If you want to take a look at the documentation, and it's actually a, a very good resource to learn Django. We have the pulling app. You can start learning Django using this app, and you have the community if you wanted to connect with other Django developers and so on. So now Django has been installed successfully, and if we take a look at our server, we can see that the server is running. Well, okay. So before moving, we need to open this db.sql. I'm gonna use SQLite 3 browser. So I'm gonna open SQLite browser. You can download it from Google. And I'm gonna open this database. So I'm gonna say open database. Open database. And I'm gonna move to the desktop. Dev tutorials. All X Clone, SRC, and we have this DB Supplementary. And as we can see, this database is empty. There, there is no tables in the database because we did not apply those migrations on our terminal or on our server. So let's take this command to copy to make those commands on our database. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now Django will apply all the migrations available, the auth, the admin, the sessions, and so on. So now if we open our database and there's nothing, we need to refresh. So let's open new database and let's open. So now we have 11 tables. So if we open those tables, we have auth group, auth users, and so on. So there is nothing in this in those tables. If we wanted to browse data for auth users or any, it's all empty. So don't worry, we will insert data in this database but not in this lecture but we will not so now we've just installed the Django project we've created a new virtual environment we've uh, run our server and the, we make sure that everything is working fine and we need to start to create our app and start joining our app models and so on and we're gonna do this in the next lecture see you next lecture